Here's the Tenemore Crater right here. It's spelled different from what I was thinking, so that's why I couldn't find it the other day. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm just working full-time. So the Tenemore Crater, now if we have to look at it, we'll zoom out of here, and we'll see that it's right above the eye. I don't know how far away right now. We can see that an inch is about 100 kilometers, so it's about 200 kilometers n kind of northeast right about here. When you zoom in there, you can quickly see it. What's that? Looks like there's a couple more. Yeah, but those are not. But there's definitely a crater strike here. Now, here's the thing. I looked at the Tenemore Crater Wikipedia, and I want to enlarge that so you can read it. Details. The crater is located in the western Sahara Desert. It is at 1.9 kilometers in diameter, about 1.2 miles. And the age is estimated to be 21 thousand to 9700 years old okay whoa whoa that's a big chunk of difference isn't it now it says here the place to see an epoch but it depends right because if it's 9700 years old that means it's younger than the younger dryas event or approximately the same age therefore part of the participation in the whole thing and, you know up here this is I don't know it seems like it's kind of up a hill so when I zoom in on that let me just uh, save that it's kind of an interesting version of it right when you see it look how hard those edges are you know this is the thing about my whole new theory about the middle of the Rashad structure being a strike. Sorry. Lots of lots of stuff's going down on Facebook. I just got to close it. I was looking at Euclidean geometry, kind of trying to figure that one out. I found a bunch of pictures. That seems to be the most popular one to explain it. But going back to this Tenemore crater, if these ridges are at least 10,000 years old, what happened to these ridges down here where we look at them? Let's look at them again. I mean, honestly, this is it looks much older. But you have to understand there's been a lot of flooding through here. And you can see the evidence of the flooding. You can see the striations in the sand right north of it where the Taman Reset River used to be located. There were dams. There was water control happening here. You can see it right there. You can see the actual canals that used to probably supply water to this part of the eye. I mean, that looks like a pretty well man-made canal to me, and it's at least a kilometer long, if not two. That's straight. But it doesn't just stop there. It goes around this curve, this perfect curve. So, <clears throat> and that looks like it's pre-Andaluvian. You've got dams over here. Now, those are probably a lot younger than 2,000 years. But some of this stuff, you know, it just doesn't add up. I've got these triangles I've been looking at again right down here. And when you look at this spot right there, it looks like there's something, like something man-made. I gotta find it real quick, sorry. I think it's up here. Where is that? Down here? There it is. Everything's changed. I can't find anything. Looks like they've, they've, they've covered it up. There it is. Okay, look at this now. What you see here, this this has got texture over it, but what you've got is spillage. This is flow. This is water created this run through here, and there's a lot of flowing this way, sand and covering. And How old is that? 20,000 years old? Well, here's my question to you. Why is the triangle, not the big one you can see, but you can see these other versions of the triangle that existed beforehand, 
if the ridges of that car, that that strike are that fresh and that could be 10,000 years old to 20,000 years old, what about this one? What happened here? Now here's one that's more recent. What happened there? How old is that? Maybe 5,000 years old before the desertification of the Sahara Desert? And then over here, what's going on under here? You see the flow of sand covering slowly some type of activity. There's a line. I call this the uh, the dental tooth walls, the teeth walls, because it looks like there's teeth, like individual teeth, like some kind of a storage thing. And if you think about the Spanish forts, you'd say, okay, those are those are storage areas. Those are storage buildings. But here it goes around the whole thing. Like maybe it was for animals or something. But then over here, you've got literally one that's covered up by, say, 10,000 to 20,000 year old sandbanks. Maybe Atlantis was much older than the 9,000 years Plato mentioned. Or maybe these were covered up before Atlantis became a city that got conquered and got destroyed. I kind of wonder about this thing. You know, this is like, there's a perfect circle right in the corner there. And I don't know what's going on over here, but you've got basically a perfect rectangle that's covered by years of sand. And you can see the underlying rock. I don't know what's going on there, but you've got a whole bunch of things here. You've got the rectangle, you've got the triangles, you've got the covered edge of a triangle. When you add it all up, it's a lot older than you think. And the one thing that I want to know more about is, of course... The hinges that's located right here. There's two of them that are on the edge of the mountain going up the hill. Maybe I missed it. Where is that? I got lost. Is that it over there? Yeah, that's it. So you've got a hinge here that's bigger than Stonehenge, and you've got an older hinge here that's some kind of a weird, like, messed up one. Maybe one that got flooded. It's an unknown structure. People keep telling me it's labeled as unknown structure. Yeah, now. Now. But it wasn't labeled that when I was founding it. I didn't find this. Somebody showed it to me. But what I did find were these other ones that are up here, and they're not labeled as unknown structures. What's that? That stone right there is like five meters wide. Whatever that is. And these stones here, they're like big, huge, upright stones. There's all sorts of hinges going throughout this area. There's a couple more. There's another one right there. You can barely see it. But you can see the row of stones. And there's another one. So this is a bunch of activity going on here. And I don't see any lineup with any uh, directions like east, but someone needs to get on the ground and take a look at this. It's time to get back down there, boys. Anyways, we're not going to find any street views or photospheres around here, no matter what you want. This guy's going to get dragged all night long. He's not going to find nothing because nobody's been down there. Have a nice evening, all. It was my pleasure to talk to you. You know, I've been advertising this One Climate uh, book that you can check out if you want. But I don't really push that kind of stuff here on my channel as much as I should. It's down in the comments below. Please click it at least. Make my clicks grow to prove to the suckers that it ain't selling as quickly as it was supposed to be. Because I've got at least 200 clicks. No sales. I can prove that. So let me know. I always want to offer my books again. That's kind of a, I always forget about it till the end of my video. Obviously, what I need to do is create an advertisement that comes in at the end, comes in at the beginning, comes in the middle, sell, 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 make money, make money, make money. So, if making money is your thing, maybe you can send me some. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.